Good morning, it's Ben from BOIT Solutions here. We're going to do a video today on how to use and set up Outlook 2013. First of all, we're going to open Outlook 2013, as you can see here, and we're going to create a new account. So we're going to click on File, Add Account. We can either get Outlook to configure it itself, but I'm going to show you the method of how to set the account up manually. So we click on Manual Setup, click on Next. If you've got an Exchange server to manage your email account, you click on, on Exchange Server. But as for this test purposes, we're going to click on Pop and IMAP, which is normally the most common way of setting up an email account. So we click on Next. First of all, we're going to put in the name of the account. For this purpose, we're going to type in the word Info, followed by the email address, Info at BL hyphen it solutions.co.uk followed by the account type normally it would be set up as pot free but you can have it set up at IMAP depending on the account setup and then we'll put in the incoming mail server this would be the details from your provider so pop dot one, one. Followed by the outgoing SMTP from your provider. And the next one we will do is put in the username. S mostly the username is the same as the email address, but depending on the provider, it can be a different. But for our testing purposes, it is exactly the same as the email address. then you will, will be required to put in a password from the, your provider which we're going to put in now after you put in all the details you, depending on your account setup you normally click on more settings to put in more details for your settings if we click on the outgoing server some email accounts require an external SMTP details to connect to the external server for the email account. So to do that, you'd need to click on the tick, tick box there and put my server SMTP requires authentication. If the SMTP uses the same details of what is entered in the main screen you just leave it as use the same settings as my incoming server but if you use an external SMTP you click on the next box which says log on, you log on using and you put in the username and password for the SMTP account details and then when finished click on OK. Next tool to the outgoing server is the advanced tab this is where you can change the, the port numbers for the POP3 or SMTP servers. By default they are set up as 110 for POP3 and 25 for SMTP. If you're using IMAP or another SMTP server, this could be set as 997 for POP3 and 587 for SMTP. Some servers do require a, um, an encrypted connection, either SSL or TLS, depending on your provider. But with this current test I'm showing at the moment, it's set as none. So once you put in the details you need for the uh, more settings, click on OK, OK to continue. Once all the settings are put in, we click on the Test Account Settings button to see if the account is set up correctly. If you get a tick, then you know that the settings have been put in correctly. If not, you get a, a red X and it will give you some errors or so tell you which is wrong with your, your settings. 
This could normally either be the password not set up correctly or the username. Once you've got the two green ticks, click on close to continue. And um, now we can click on next to finish the installation. So Outlook does a double check to make sure that the settings are installed correctly again. Click on close and then click on finish to continue. Your new account will now appear underneath your secondary account in the Outlook window. We're going to click on send and receive to check if the emails have come in correctly. As you can hear from the from the um, from the sound that they that they the little but um, little buzzing sound is that new emails have come into the account. So we click on the down arrow, and it shows that 21 emails have come into the account. So we click on inbox. It shows there's been a, a few test accounts come in, and uh, here's the emails we have received yesterday. To create a new email. You click on the new email button in the left hand corner of Outlook. You type in the email address of the person you want to send the email to in the to field. So we're going to select Ben at BOIT Solutions for example. In the subject field we're just going to type the word test. And in the main footer we're going to type the word test as well. If you want to attach a file to Outlook you click on attach file and select the image you want to use to attach to to give to someone else. We're going to select our logo for example and click on insert so that now appears attachment. Once you've got all the information you want to send someone you click on the send button. Click on send and receive to double check to make sure it's gone out and you can see it's gone out the out box now and if we go into sent items it was showing there as a Ben Leach test and with the logo in the message box. So if I go on to my on, online webmail, for example, and I'll show you that the email has successfully come into my account. So I'll go one and one webmail. Just type in my address. my password click on login click on close and you'll see here in the inbox is the email from the info account and it says test and it shows the attachments back there and we're going to click on the attachment and it'll open up our logo and here's our logo so if I want to send a reply to the inbox account, I go back into the webmail, Select the email I want to reply to. Click on reply. And just send thank you from Ben. Thanks, Ben. And then click on send. If I go back to Outlook, click on send and receive. Click on inbox. And we'll see that, have a, that there's been a reply from Ben. Other useful settings in Outlook you can you can use are are the calendar at the bottom, where you can put your dates and plan your your week ahead. You can add people to the um, the contacts. As you can see here, we have got quite a lot of customers in our. In our, in our contacts. But if you want to create a new contact for example 
click on new contact, put in the name, Ben Leach, put in the company details, BL IT Solutions, job title, and then followed by email address. And then click save and close. I will now appear in here if I type Ben Leach. I'm now in the contacts menu and it shows a, it shows me as a contact. With these contacts you can change the picture and put a picture of yourself in there if you want to to make it a bit more professional. So if you click on edit you can add more details like address birthday, phone number, instant messenger address. There's so much you can do it out there to make it look more professional for your business. So we want to close that now because I'm now set up as a contact. Other useful things in Outlook 2013 are the tasks where you can set up a task like new task. You can put a subject, site visit, Put the start date to be today, due date to be today, status in progress, priority you can have it high, low or normal. Normally we set it to normal and then you can put it the percentages of how the job is complete, so I'll say 25% complete and then put a little note in there, site visit to customer to show how to use new PC. Once you put in your um, task, click on save and close and you'll see in my tasks the site visit is in there and the job's in progress and you can change it if you want to put in further details on how long the job's got left to proceed and it flag up occasionally to tell you that this job needs to be completed. So that's another useful thing about the 2013 is the, the new tasks um, menu. Other useful um, items in 2013 is the new menu along the side here with useful things like um, flags for, t for people you can put onto emails for like you want a response today, tomorrow, this week. You can also create new folders in the menu. So in the inbox, I could have a new folder inside my inbox under info. I could have a new folder and call that jobs, and that will appear under. my email account under mail and you'll see under info that there's some new folders appearing. So this is a, just a basic video of how to use Outlook 2013. If you'd like more information on how to set up Outlook and how to configure it with your company, contact BOIT Solutions for more information. This is Ben Leach from BOI Solutions. Thank you very much.